Can you tell us a little bit about how automotive ACE spice processes or agile methodologies in combination mm -hmm. can save money in a project? Okay, honestly, in a specific individual project, mm -hmm. I don't think that you are saving so much money. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little bit is possible, but uh, it's, I think, not enough to convince a CFO about this. Mm -hmm. If uh, you want to talk about saving money, we have to consider as well the phase after the product was actually handed over to serial production, right? And here, there, a lot of things can go wrong afterwards, right? Um, for sure, it costs money if you introduce additional quality assurance activities and uh, if you are doing testing and reviews and if you are investing in architecture, for example, and a reusable architecture, this all costs money, but it saves a lot of money afterwards if you can reuse it in a different project, not necessarily in the same project, but in a different project. So here you have an opportunity. If you are talking about platform and, and uh, customer projects on the one hand side, you are achieving a higher product quality so you are uh, saving a lot of money if it's about uh, defect management after SOP. So if we are having less recalls from and warranty issues afterwards, right? So in the individual single project, yes, you have to invest, but you earn the money or save the money later on in other projects or in the, in the production phase. Totally agree with you. That is, that is where the money is. You know, in the long run, you yeah. will save uh, save money and time and a lot of energy yeah. if you do it from the beginning. Obviously, the process setup will cost you money. Mm -hmm. It doesn't come for free, it will cost you money, the process setup. But the blessings of the process that you've already done, a clever process in place, in future, it is going to, going to bring you a lot of it. The problem is, everybody is quarter focused. Yeah, mm. they, they want to save money in this quarter. Yeah. That is where it gets really difficult to convince people that, you know, in the long run, it's going yeah. to bring you some benefit. What do you think of that? Yeah, that's absolutely true. Unfortunately, it's true. Uh, all the um, uh, CEOs and so on, or maybe not all of them, not but all. a lot of, Many a lot of them, them <laughs> are really uh, focused just on, on today and not on tomorrow. And uh, actually, this is uh, really a challenge. I, I was already disappointed a few times in the past where we really put a lot of focus on a specific project and we tried to help them and improve them and they got a better waiting and uh, the status, uh, if it was communicated to the OMM, it was getting better and better, yes. And then there was another project in the same company and suddenly somehow they just did it they did it in a different way again and uh, somehow they lost this kind of knowledge mm. so unfortunately in the industry nowadays this kind of learning cycle which is needed across several projects not only inside an individual project uh, is not really working so very well this is at mm. least my impression yeah, totally. and this would be my personal wish for the future that this is changing that we really have a support from the management in such companies that uh, lessons learned are really taken over to uh, additional teams and that this is really really deployed in a company like it's it's really the idea of automotive spice of, of level three for example mm -hmm.